The Exynos 2500 has been a hot topic in the tech world lately, especially with the Galaxy S25 launch on the horizon. Samsung officially named the Exynos 2500 during its recent earnings call. The chip has been surrounded by some controversy. Reports have claimed that Samsung's yields haven't been as high as expected, sparking rumors that the Exynos 2500 might not even make it to the Galaxy S25. However, in a surprising twist, a more powerful version of the Exynos 2500 has just surfaced, potentially changing the game. A new version of the Exynos 2500 has been spotted in the Geekbench database, and it's a lot more powerful than previous versions. The model number remains similar to the earlier chip, S5E 9955, but the internals have received a significant boost. The new version packs in three Cortex-X 925 CPU cores clocked at 2.59 GHz, five Cortex-A 725 CPU cores running at 2.25 GHz, and two Cortex-A 520 CPU cores operating at 1.75 GHz. This will feature the chip. If the new version indeed consumes more power, we could see it powering future Samsung tablets or laptops rather than the Galaxy S25 series. This uncertainty has left many wondering what Samsung's flagship lineup will look like. Will the Galaxy S25 run on Exynos, or will Samsung turn to other chip manufacturers? Here's where things get even more interesting. Rumors are swirling that the Galaxy S25 series, especially the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra, might use the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip instead of Exynos. This is primarily due to Samsung struggling to produce enough Exynos 2500 chips in time for the Galaxy S25's launch. On the flip side, there are also reports that Samsung hasn't completely abandoned its Exynos 2500. If production yields improve, Samsung might still equip the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus with the Exynos 2500 chip. So it's really a waiting game at this point to see if Samsung's in-house chip can make the cut. Adding to the mix, there were earlier reports suggesting that the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus could potentially use MediaTek's newly announced Dimensity 9400 chip, but recent updates have cleared up that confusion. It turns out the MediaTek chip is more likely to be used than the Galaxy S25 FE, a more affordable model in the lineup that is expected to launch in late 2025. For now, it seems like the Galaxy S25 FE will be the one featuring MediaTek's chip, while the higher-end Galaxy S25 series will most likely rely on either Samsung's Exynos 2500 or Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite, depending on production capabilities and other factors. So, what's the takeaway? Samsung is clearly pushing the boundaries with its Exynos 2500, but the question of whether it will be ready for the Galaxy S25 series is still up in the air. The recently leaked, more powerful version shows a lot of promise, especially with its upgraded CPU and GPU cores, but it might be better suited for larger devices that can handle its power needs. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S25 series could go in any direction, Exynos, Snapdragon, or even MediaTek, depending on how things unfold over the next few months. As always, Samsung fans will be watching closely to see what chip powers the next big release, and we'll be sure to keep you updated as more details emerge. Stay tuned for more updates on the Galaxy S25 and the Exynos 2500. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. 
Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one Hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 Hertz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's 18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.